A lot of people They're saying it was so a stunning 16. rebuke against the government, and that's wrong. It was uh, more of a thermonuclear hydrogen bomb thrown at the assistant attorney general for any justice. This was 172 pages of opprobrium saying that the Justice Department didn't know what it was doing. And it, it was, you're absolutely right. You had this dead to rights. Uh, it was embarrassing. The verdict was embarrassing. It was really just kind of like, listen, you first year law student. You know, it, it's from. interesting because, as we've said so many times, people and Comcast certainly was looking to this, as was the Fox board, uh, for a sign as to what it would mean in terms of the antitrust risk inherent in any Comcast bid for right. Fox assets. What do you think the, the experts that I've spoken to? Certainly, the Comcast side believes this has cleared the way completely for uh, them. Uh, there are others uh, who say, listen, they're different companies, different situations, and you still can't say without a doubt that the government will not oppose Comcast's purchase of the Fox assets. Right. On page 171, he says, but the temptation by some to view this decision as being something more than a resolution of this specific case should be, uh, let's just say, absolutely not considered. But you know what, David? This was a blueprint for Comcast to buy. And it basically even said, I felt, you can disagree with me, but old media better start buying each other quickly because Facebook and Google are going to crush you. Well, listen, that was what was inherent in Rupert Murdoch's stunning yeah. decision Stun to sell most of yes. Fox. After trying to buy Time Warner a number of years ago, people recall, in that unsolicited bid and failing to do so. Yeah. So much of the reporting that I did around that was really about Mr. Murdoch's decision that the world of Netflix, Facebook, and Google, and Amazon was simply too hard to compete in. And he is now a very happy seller. Take a look at shares of Fox, what we expect yeah. this morning. Comcast, our parent company, of course, is down. As I uh, was reporting earlier on uh, Squawk Box, Comcast is expected to come with that offer for those Fox assets. By the end of the day, most likely after the close of, of stock trading today, Certainly want to see how weak Disney is. That continues to pressure the overall value of Disney's uh, bid, remember. Uh, but it is expected this afternoon. People are wondering, what's the timeline from here right, as we right, sort of right. head into this really fierce potential bidding war? Well, Fox Board is going to say, OK, we'll take a look at this. We want to talk to you about it. And they're going to still want to talk long right. and hard about the antitrust risk and what Comcast is willing to do. That's going to be a key part of whatever we see later today from Comcast, not just the number itself and the all-cash offer. Uh, and then if they think it is a superior proposal or deemed to lead to a superior proposal, Disney will have five days to come back and match. And Disney's not going to be a shrinking violet here, as I've been reporting as well. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.